So this step right here, we're gonna take the uh, the grinder with the diamond blade. We're just gonna clean up these grunt lines so they go around instead of having this big block. So when we mud the corners, we don't have to deal with that. Or we'll have to grind it out later on. It's better just to do it first, save you time. So, get my mask on and get at it. Okay, so now that we got our corners grinded out, of those grout lines cleaned up, we're going to start making our patch mix. Um, so we're not using a whole bag on this, it's just enough to do a couple um, corners. So what I normally do is I do two and a half pints. To a quarter of a bag of panel mix. So even though this is just panel mix for patching, you still want to mix it for three minutes so you get all those properties to blend nicely because that's the goal is three minutes. Don't cheat yourself because you'll pay for it later on crack. Okay, so now we're patching our corners. Um, things needed on this are a mason brush, this brings that rock texture out a little bit more so it's not just a plain, smooth surface. You want to keep that stone look going. Um, consistency of, of the mud, you want almost like a peanut butter, like a doughy consistency so it's not runny and it's dripping all the way down your panel, but it's enough where it's going to stick and you can actually mold that stone around the corner. Um, the other thing is trying to keep your, your stones at a sharp edge, not rounded off. Um, that's the goal in this. And then just a, a pint cup with water and a small chip brush, like two inches. But anytime you dip your brush in the water, you want to rinse off the excess water because if you make it too wet, the fibers will start to pop out and it will weaken your concrete also because now you're adding too much water to that, that concrete. So what I'll start off doing, I'll just take my brush, get some water on there and just wash down my panel where my mud's gonna sit. So it's nice and clean and free of debris of dust. Um, and then I know it's locking into the panel itself rather than kind of floating on a dusty surface. So when you feel like your bucket, like your uh, concrete's starting to tighten up too much or you're gonna lose it, don't use a pint cup to rehydrate this thing. Just take a little bit in your hand and that's all you need. Because again, too much water, weak of concrete. So just a little bit and re-whip it. Okay, so I got my corners done pretty much. They're blended in as nice as I can get them. Like I said, I don't want to soak brush because all you're going to do is weaken the crete and uh, have those fibers pop out, which you don't want. So all you want to do is just like create that stone coming around get it faded in so you don't see this big blotch like a like a line of concrete that just kind of doesn't do anything or it doesn't go with the stone and then you're going to take your texture brush and just dab it so it's going to leave little porous holes like the panel already has and just continues all the way through so it doesn't look plain or smooth you don't want that smooth look you want the stone look so really simple technique And there's the effect. All right guys, so just a couple tools, like when you do your grout lines and when you are mudding, you can use the back tip of your brush so you can scratch out the excess of the excess uh, concrete or just a margin trowel just to keep your lines nice and clean. This is really good when you have the dry stack mold because there are no grout lines, but you do still have to clean up the rocks. So just a couple tools to use.